Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bryony and I am one half of the Indecisive Readers. Today you're just getting my voice again and I suppose kind of my hands because I'm doing a voiceover over a painting video. I have done a couple of painting videos before but they've almost just been ambient ones. Um, but today because I have kind of a reason behind the painting on this channel, I thought I'd describe it and explain my logic. I have posted the picture, the final picture, by the time this video is going up. I'm not sure exactly when this video is going up, but I thought I'd accompany it anyway. So it's very sped up because otherwise it's about like four hours of raw footage. Um, and the beginning bit didn't actually record, which is a little bit frustrating. My video never doesn't record unless it's something I can't refilm, which is really frustrating. But anyway... So the background is kind of a stormy scene. It's kind of meant to be clouds, but I just wasn't very good at drawing them, painting them. I've painted over a actual tarot card and I've put masking tape over the borders so I didn't paint on them. It didn't quite work out, but you know, generally. Um, so there should be a border around the outside as well as the original kind of name under the bottom. This card is the Lover's Tarot card. It's number six in the like original Major Arcana deck, I think it's called. And I've decided to do it with the main character from the Bone Season series. So that's Paige and then her love interest who is Arcturus Mazartum or Warden as he's like more commonly known for the first three books. So the background of this, which wasn't recorded, is kind of a stormy scene. They're meant to be clouds, they're not painted very well but you know that's technically what they are. The colours are grey, black, purple and white because they reflect the colours in the asexual or demisexual flag. Now I chose these colours because Samantha Shannon has spoken at great length about the fact that Paige is demisexual and she wanted to explore that more in The Masked Fallen which was something I was really interested in because as I also identify as demisexual I thought this was going to be a really kind of important relationship for me to see and that's why I have chosen them for the lovers card because I could choose a couple kissing and a couple like cuddling and things but that doesn't mean as much to me. Um, the options I had for doing this included Katniss and Peter from the Hunger Games. I was going to have Gail hovering in the background because quite often characters in kind of the lovers card have a third person in the background. I considered doing the council from Raybearer. I considered doing Tiffy and Leon from the Flatshare because I wanted, again, it to be personal to me. But also, I don't just want these to be fantasy cards, but I think they probably will end up being so because that's just easiest because they just relate to the stories more. I ended up choosing Paige and Arcturus though because I'd just finished reading The Masked Fallen and I had like a picture in my head of what they were going to look like. So I haven't, like I said, kind of chosen a scene where they are embracing, which is typical for the kind of lover's card. You can see a preview of what the final thing is going to look like in the corner of the screen um, because I, I mean, I spent like three days just drawing it on various formats. I made it big, then I made it a bit smaller, then I was doing it on my iPad on Procreate. And then now I'm doing it on the actual card. I basically just wanted to practice it a lot. So I at least had a good idea of what I wanted it to look like. I still don't think it's perfect, but you know, it is progress and I'm not displeased with it. The more I look at it, I'm like, you know what? That's actually quite cool. So um, yeah, I did choose the demisexual colors in the background because it was kind of a like little nod to it. And then I chose them not embracing because it made more sense for their relationship. Although they have been lovers, they have kissed, they have embraced before, their relationship is not kind of based on kind of a physical intimacy, almost a sexual intimacy. It's kind of an emotional one. They are much closer as friends, as comrades, as partners almost, than they are like as lovers and so I wanted to represent that in the card for them although like if I were to like make this commercial I probably would have them like embrace him because that's what people want to see in a lover's card. So there are kind of lots of little hints towards their relationship in this card. So both of them are just sat here it's almost a scene reflected from the Masked Fallen in it not necessarily spoilers but it's just them sat playing chess um, Arcturus has a glass of wine because he quite often drinks a glass of wine and Paige has her classic bowl of coffee. 
Um, I mean, it's meant to be a cup, but, you know, she drinks so much coffee. Arcturus actually notes that she has a bowl of coffee without a handle. So as this is kind of going on, I'm painting over the original backgrounds. So I did a stormy background with the demisexual colours and then I went along at the bottom and painted a poppy field. So it's green and then it's got red on top and I will go back over it at some point. Then I drew the kind of plan I had for it. I drew the characters on it and then I have gone back over it with white because at this point I realised it was really hard to paint over it. I don't have great paints which you'll probably notice as it goes on I have to do lots of layers I just don't think they're very pigmented I think that's the word that people always use so I did have to do it over in white and it kind of worked out better so I probably should have learned that in the first place but at least I have learned my mistake so as I said earlier the tarot card for the lovers quite often has a third person in the background so I was thinking really hard about who that third person could be and I decided to put Jackson in it so he's looking uh, what's the word? I, will, I want to say creeping. He's just kind of there in the background, just hovering behind Paige, because whilst he's not necessarily involved in their relationship, he's very much a figure that influences their relationship. What he says to Paige and the things he's taught her very much kind of stay in her head throughout their relationship. And so to have someone literally hovering on her shoulder, it of course had to be Jackson. You'll see as I paint this that both him and Arcturus are holding wine glasses. I did, when I initially kind of plotted it, say I didn't like that. I didn't like that they were reflecting each other, but kind of on discussing it with Sam, I realised it actually kind of suited it more that these two massive influences in Paige's life are so similar. So they're both holding their wine glasses although I don't think Jackson actually drinks wine I think he drinks something else but like he always has a drink in hand so around the edge of the painting I have done some drapes they represent Octurus's dreamscape like I said there are lots of little nods to kind of small things in the series that kind of make more sense as you read on I'm sure by the end of the seventh book I'll probably be frustrated with myself and wish I could redo this but you know we're here this is this is the Mars Fall in Lovers card at the very least. The poppy dreamscape relates to pages I discovered in designing this that poppies that we think of kind of on Remembrance Day you know the like four leaves and the big black dot in the center is not actually the poppy that Samantha Shannon means. I thought when she kept referring to a poppy anemone that was just kind of like the um, what's the word these seeds the kind of pollen from a poppy but apparently they're different things if you look on the spine of the bone season on the front of the new bone season books it's basically that flower it's got like six petals it's black or white on the inside so it does look similar enough it is a red poppy but it is slightly different Paige's dreamscape actually changes throughout the book as does Arcturus's where his was originally quite plain his gets a refurbishment gets redecorated and Paige notices it. Paige's changes from the original poppies that she sees in her that she meets Nick in I think that's the kind of influence I think that's why they're there to these poppy and enemies that have reasons in the book. So as I was designing this Samantha Shannon had recently come out and said that Paige's style is basically dark academia and so I thought let's put her in a turtleneck and some kind of like plaid trousers. As I was painting this and as I'm sure you will notice she looks a lot more Kim Possible than I was initially planning on making her. I wish I'd chosen a slightly different colour green or maybe just a different outfit but I don't think I would have found it as easy to draw. Um, I mean I struggled enough with getting her on the seat because it's like an awkward position and I had to draw her feet and I hate drawing feet. I also hate drawing faces so by the end of this and probably on the preview you saw they don't have faces. They will have faces at some point but I didn't want to ruin it by trying to draw faces when I can't draw them yet so at some point I will come back and I will draw the faces or maybe not on this because it's so small it is literally just a tarot card so I don't want to ruin them but on at least my digital drawing of them they will have faces at some point. 
for context around the rest of the tarot card I've got my books because they're there I have a necklace from Opandarai. She is on Instagram. I don't think she's on Twitter, but she has an Etsy page and she also has a website that I will link down below. Hers is the necklace that says for the dreamers. It's got kind of a moth above it and it's inspired by the bone season. She also has recently come out with some more necklaces as of, I think, the day I was filming this because obviously this is the second day I was filming it because I had to leave it some time to dry. Um, I got two more necklaces no I got one more necklace inspired by the bone season which was gold and had another moth which was red and I got a page and warden lovely smelling candle I don't really use candles but I wanted it and I know she also does two pairs of the bone season earrings that also have moths on them and I think she does another necklace but with just a quote and I think it says no live life is lost but I might be wrong, that might be from another series, but I know she does have another Bone Season Just Quote necklace. I also have two coasters on the screen. They are from Little Book Elf. The Etsy page is run by someone called Aoife, who is the loveliest person. I love hearing all her updates about all the coasters she's doing and all the other kind of artwork she's planning. I kept sending her my updates, being like, look, we're moving on, we're getting there. And I mean... I really hated it when I was doing it. The green really annoyed me. The green that I will put over the chairs. It was just so patchy. But she was like, it'll get better and you'll like it more. I mean, I don't like it 100% still, but I'm definitely getting there. I don't hate it as much as I did when we started. But she has designed these two coasters from the Bone Season series based on the covers. I think they're beautiful. They're so like bright and vivid. They really match the covers. You can't really see the blue one because I've got paint in the way and you definitely can't see the red one. But the red one has the circle kind of design that is on the Mime Order cover and the Bone Season one has these seven dials like symbol with the flower in the middle which again is that puppy and enemy rather than a poppy I always wondered why it wasn't a poppy on the cover now it makes more sense it is a poppy on the cover I'm loving honestly my kind of growing collection of bone season merch now looking back at it I wish I'd chosen more bright colors it's quite a muted color I think if the background had been a bit brighter it would have been different and I feel like page should have been in different colors but I do quite like Jackson being in red because he does kind of blend into everything. Paige has red hair in this because although she is naturally blonde, by the time the mask fallen comes around she has dyed her hair for a second time. I think in the mime order it's dark but I mean everyone else has dark hair. I wanted her to stand out a bit and because I've got red hair I was just very excited for her to join me in the red hair gang. I also wish I'd spent a bit more time taking time to space out. I feel like it's a little bit crowded in this version. It's much better spread out in all my kind of drawings of it because I just had more room I could resize things but once I'd drawn on this it was kind of quite final but I suppose whilst we're here I might as well talk about why I like the books other than the fact that Paige is like a wonderful demisexual icon I think she's great and I think their relationship is great I could go on about their relationship for a long time but I won't I think the series in general is just so complicated and interesting. I think Samantha Shannon writes incredibly interesting books. I think she writes incredibly interesting characters and I think her plots are so complex. Every time I pick up her book I learn something new. Every time she comes out with a new book I have to reread the original ones because she will have come out with something new which will completely have changed my opinions on what has come before. And I'm just, I don't know what she's got planned for the upcoming books, but I know it's going to be so, so interesting and I just can't wait to see what she's done. I think she's just going to blur us away and I'm very hurt by the mask falling. If you've read this, by the time you're watching this, please don't leave like spoilers in the comments, but like come and agree with me. You can find me on Twitter and things and discuss your thoughts. But The Bone Season as a series has grown on me. The first time I read it, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't love it. And so I was really pleased to enjoy it more as the series went on. I think by allowing myself the time to explore it, to kind of sit on it, because I went straight into this after having read The Priory of the Orange Tree, and they are obviously so different. And 
it's difficult to go into one from the other knowing that one is her debut and one she wrote like 10 years later and so after time I enjoyed it more and because of what I've said already because you learn things and it means so much more on a second read and so I definitely enjoyed it a lot more this time round. I would like to finish my rereads because I did two reads of the bone season last year and only one extra read of the next two but I really want to read The Mars Falling again. The Mars Falling I absolutely adored. I read an early copy thanks to NetGalley and it just really hurt. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it other than it was just fantastic. Other than the relationships, because it's a very action-heavy book again. Like, stuff is constantly happening, but it doesn't diminish from the time that is given for the relationships. And I thought that was so, so interesting. I think so often in fantasy books or just books that aren't based on romances, we don't get that time to explore it. And so I liked that we did. I liked that we got to see how they grew as a character, how other people were there. I liked that we still get to see Paige's trauma, although I'm obviously not happy that Paige is traumatised, like trigger warnings for a lot of things that I will link down below. It's just wonderful and I would definitely, definitely recommend. One of my favourite things about it is how it explores kind of history. This book is inspired or triggered by an event that happens in our past and it's really interesting to see how kind of those experiences get translated into this book so it's inspired by the Jack the Ripper kind of murders and it all spirals from there and in The Mars Falling we get a bit more context to it we learn a bit more about where that happens in the world like why it happens and I thought that was really interesting I always point to one specific moment in the bone season series where Paige keeps talking about a guy called Sinatra whose songs keep getting what's the word whose songs keep getting blacklisted because they mention ghosts or something and they're like that's unnatural that's not okay and I'm like surely that's not Frank Sinatra but it was Frank Sinatra and I just thought that was really interesting quite funny almost to see where our history and this fictional history that isn't so far from our own kind of where they differ and how different they are and I just loved it and I loved getting to explore a bit more of it in The Mars Fallen. I liked in The Mars Fallen that we got to see more of the world. Samantha Shannon has said multiple times before that this is a dystopian book on the scale of a fantasy series and I totally agree. Fantasy series so often span multiple worlds and multiple places to visit whereas dystopias are quite claustrophobic and that's the point. And I think it's really interesting how she moves us out of one place but still makes it feel like a dystopia still makes it feel dark but also because it's so close to home it's only like set 40 years in the future like it's quite scary you can still imagine things and it's not so in the future that it's all flying cars and weird things that we can't imagine now and I think that makes it more interesting I just it's fantastic I love it so much so kind of in between me having like filmed it there are a couple of things I have like gone over at the weekend because I did this either side of the weekend so every time I went back to it I'd paint the flames because there is a quote in the series that I can't remember exactly but I will probably link it down below somewhere where it says something like he set fire to my dreamscape and I just love it and I think it captures Paige's and Arcturus's relationships so well it just joins them together in one sentence and I think it's beautiful and so I wanted to represent that in this tarot card because if I'm including their dreamscapes I also want to include their dreamscapes combined. I also have outlined them in gold, I was going to do it in black, I'm outlining jacks in black and I'm outlining the curtains and the drapes and the chessboard and things in black but those two I wanted to show their golden cord and whilst I have done like just a bit of yellow paint between them I also wanted to outline them in gold so one they stand out a bit more because like I said it's a bit dark I don't like how dark it is but you can't do anything about that now and so I thought outlining them in gold because it did work would work out quite well at least that was my hope I think it does but 
yeah, I do wish it hadn't been so dark just generally. When it came to peeling it off, unfortunately it wasn't quite as smooth as I wanted it to be. It did seep under a little bit so you have got a little bit outside but also in some places it was just too thick. So down the bottom by Octurus's chair it has seeped onto the lovers a bit and I did actually cut off a little bit just because it was just so thick you could actually cut it and I thought that was just a bit mad. But yeah I think overall I'm quite pleased with it. It's not perfect. It's no means perfect. I know that. And I think it could be a whole lot better. However, for a first attempt, for someone who doesn't paint a lot, I'm not displeased with it. I would love to do a whole series of the Bone Scene tarot cards. I'd love to do a whole series of bookish tarot cards that mean a lot to me. And yeah, I just thought it was a fun thing to do. thought it might be interesting for you to see the process and thought it might be interesting for you to like kind of hear my thoughts behind it and just hear me babble for... 20 minutes so yeah if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already because i'll be doing lots of other creative things i've got a flick through a priory to do i've got various bone season projects like i said i may consider doing a whole series of tarot cards inspired by the bone series so stick around and see if i do but in the meantime thank you for watching this video and i will see you in another one bye